<laughs> Good morning, hello. Uh, welcome uh, to another edition of uh, Breakfast with Bob. Uh, it's been a little while, um, I, I will admit, I've not had breakfast for some time, uh, which is why uh, you can see I'm rather skinny and gaunt these days. But look, today we're going to be making Bob's Beef and Potato Kima Naans, uh, which is one of my favourite breakfasts, um, one that my mother always used to make for me when I was young. So, Robert, what are we going to use as our ingredients today? Well, we're going to use uh, some fine choice uh, beef mince. There you go. Uh, that's what I prepared earlier. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, then we've got uh, creme fraiche. Uh, we've got a little bit of wine. Woo! Um, then we build in, obviously, um, our uh, greenery. You've got to have greenery for anything like this for breakfast. Uh, cream egg. Um, and then um, I've, I've made, I uh, must admit, I've cheated. <laughs> Um, and what I've got, I've got my own, um, what do you call them, black naan breads, a uh, shop bought, sorry already. So that's the preparation done. Um, I hope you managed to catch most of that. Um, really, really careful about when you um, oven bake your garlic, um, which I forgot to mention, oven bake the garlic, drizzle of olive oil first, wrap it in foil, okay? Uh, that always works a trick, because you can mix that in uh, with your yogurty creme fraiche, um, um, la coulis. Um, now, moving on. Now, I always like to tell you a bit of a story uh, when I'm making one of my dishes, and this one is a particularly spooky one. Can you hear the spooky music? Because <laughs> it is really spooky. Hold on, let's just pause that. Well, um, where were these first discovered, Bob? Well, actually, these interesting, like, potato and beef, keem and arn, what's it things, they were first discovered in the 1690s in a cave just near Rye Slip. Um, it was uh, an explorer, Walton Seabass, uh, who was exploring around the area looking for like exotic foods and things. Uh, and they went in this cave, shh, they went in this cave and they discovered these Keemanan, what's it face, doodars, right? Um, but here's the frightening bit. Can you hear the music? Ooh. And they all dropped dead immediately because they were cursed. They were cursed, right? Um, but then, in 1927... Sorry, it should be happy music now, but I've only got spooky music. So, imagine this is really happy. In 1927, a little um, um, dairy milk girl... Um, not like not like the Dairy Milk kid. She like carried Dairy Milk about with her as a job. She was walking into a cave. Um, well, it was the same cave in Ryslip and found the skeletons, right? Um, but then she placed them in this. Uh, like, well, she she pulled them apart and then she placed them in a circle and did a little dance in the middle of it. And the key Manan things appeared, right? And then it was all happy and it was all happy. So that's actually a true story about how the this food came about. But hold on. I think they might be ready. Ding! Oh, look at that. What do you think about that? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Um, now, I'm going to give that a go in a second. Um, so, let's just wait and I'll get my fork. Right, um, I'm about to get to try a bit of this now. Um, so, you put it in the oven for no more than sort of... 15 minutes once you've done all the prep that I showed you, um, you, you want, you, you'll need some beef stock as well. Mmm. 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 Really good. Um, no. Mm. Mm, that was one of my best Bob's breakfasts. Um, it, it took quite a lot of preparation. Um, I've still got some of the 
beef mince left, so I shall be chomping on that later on. Um, you can save time and just, just have it straight from the tin. This is what I made earlier uh, called Bob's Sunday Lunch, uh, because it's Sunday today. Um, so, I hope you, you've got a few tips there and you're going to go and perhaps make yourself a nice tasty breakfast this Sunday. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to swish my eye out. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to um, two huge fans of the, of the show uh, who I met earlier this week. They're, in fact, they had Bob's uh, Breakfast with Bob t-shirts and hats on. Uh, so, Shirley and Maya, uh, I hope you enjoy this. Um, and um, as you see, I'm a little bit rusty, a little bit... Um, uh, but next time hopefully it'll be a little bit more honed and maybe I will have shaved as well. So look, enjoy your day. I'm going to get back to my breakfast. Have a happy Sunday.